everybody. In the face of the escalating crisis associated with the war in Ukraine, we all find ourselves in a situation of great insecurity and vulnerability. This applies not only directly to our physical and emotional integrity, but also to many aspects of social, economic, and political life. The collective shock of war weakens our bodies and minds and creates enormous stress as human. We only experience such stress in extreme situations that take us to the breaking point. When we are experiencing this level of stress, we must take the time to try to find some safety in order to continue to live our lives. We all, from the global SE, somatic experiencing community, we are so, but is so sorry for this deep and cruel pain at the moment. Our hearts, and thoughts are with you. Trauma is the result of overwhelming from shock or from extreme stress affecting the brain, mind, psychic, but most fundamentally, it manifests itself in the body. The body becomes trapped in a high level of nervous system activation or overwhelming that causes us, a person, to lose the genuine capacity to interact with life in a healthy way. When trauma becomes stuck in the body, it can also be healed through the body. Trauma experience dissociates the person from the awareness of the present moment, and it can lead to a feelings of helplessness, particularly if the trauma is from a situation like a war. Trauma steals from individual of their sense of integrity, it keeps them in an altered stage of maladaptive visceral response, and it makes it nearly impossible to know what the right actions are in life because the nervous system gets stuck in other state of being. Shock and trauma make normal living nearly impossible. Most trauma victims present with a variety of experiences that can make life more difficult to live, including major depression, generalized anxiety and panic disorders, phobias, and inability to make decisions and more. When a trauma becomes trapped in the body, we must immediately help the affected person find a new, safe experience in the body. That self-sense of safety is the first step toward resolving the trauma and helping the nervous system to come back to a more regulated state of living. In this video, we want to share some basic tools and techniques that can be of great help to those who are currently in severe shock. The simple techniques applicable by anyone 
and under all circumstances can help you gain access to the body awareness and senses. Also, a felt sense of safety within the body. Only by being fully aware of your living body and present in here and now, it is possible to transform the traumatic memories in a such a way that you can be able to move on and engage in life again. We hope this video can help you to find a little more easy and more regulation when life remains so difficult. The first aid or the model of implementing is an understanding that our nervous systems under threat are retuned to be hypersensitive. So we become tuned to detect threat. So the first thing is quiet, safe environment. Quiet meaning no background noises, especially if you now have uh, escaped bombing and sounds of concussion bombs and the trains and the noise and the chaos that the nervous system of your clients or the refugees can calm down, can give up its hypervigilance. To do that, you have to have an environment, whether we call it the clinical setting or a home in which the background sounds are basically calm, that there's not busyness going on. So the nervous system has to be in an environment and where it's not gonna be easily uh, convinced that it needs to maintain its hypervigilance. That hypervigilance has to be downregulated. That's the, I would say the first uh, it, uh, intrude or imp the first act of, uh, of a uh, first aid kit to in a sense calm the situation to enable the individual's nervous system to calm. So it's a more uh, containment and quiet rooms, quiet delivery spaces of therapy. So it's, to me, it's about first taking care of yourself as a therapist, understanding that you are broadcasting the feelings that are in your body and you have to, in a sense, feel safe enough to broadcast the feelings to the other, that you are safe enough to be trusted and that you can now have a positive presence uh, to support others. And that cascades. And then looking at the parent, mother, parent, child relationship and seeing it as this active dynamic uh, diet that once the bodies relax, you can see the support spontaneously occurring. Um, that's, that's my message. My message is uh, a sequential understanding that to support the safety of others, we have to have a degree of safety within ourselves. The parent has to, in a sense, become aware of what their body is doing. So it's literally an initial psychotherapy through psychoeducation of saying, be aware of your body. Can you feel that in your body now? And if you, uh, you know, when you hold someone, are you conveying that? The simple examples are some people give good hugs. Others are very rigid. We all know that. But mm -hmm. as somatic-oriented people, we know what a rigid hug means. We know about the state of that body. So my guess is, though, that many of the refugees, although they would love to feel safe in the arms of another, their bodies can't go there. And so we need to talk about that with them and literally give them real-life examples of how these things get conveyed because they will have history or memories of wanting to give a hug to a person and that person's body being very resistant and how does their body feel in response to that as that body-to-body -body communication rather than creating a trusting safe environment and saying too much for me threat is real and bodies respond it's real so it's not like we can uh will it not our will our bodies not to respond. It's real. So when it's real, we have to respect what our body is doing. And so we don't want to evaluate people who carry trauma. We want to say, this is real. 
but we can learn to manage it. How do we learn to manage it? That's the learning. Learning through awareness and learning to manage. We learn to manage our own threats by navigating into space that have less distractors, less cues of threat. So we become wise about managing our body. If we want our children to succeed and to prosper during this complicated, challenging time, we have to let their bodies feel that they are supported. And it's not like saying, I can support you, here's my wallet. You know, I have resources. That's not what the nervous system wants. The nervous system wants a trusted, conforming body, a hug from a mother, a support. These exercises helps the person increase his hair presence and he feel more stable and grounded. So you're going to do a balance between the front and back and receive the support from the grounding. Okay, in the sit position, by feeling the contact with your feet on the floor, at the same time feeling the back of the spine supported by something, you know, in the back co connected with the spine. It could be tower, roll, or any firm object. There you can see some kind of noodle or spaghetti that we call places in a vertical on the back of the chair in contact with the spine. So you press down both feet at the same time pressing against that firm object in the vertical line. And you notes what is happening there, okay? So you can see that the weight is resting toward to the support. So gentle, Push the feet well rooted in the floor. Also, perceiving gravity, the weight of uh, the spine on the back rest. Breathing calmly. Take a deep breath. Yeah. Notes what is happening. So in the second drawing, especially if the person is a little out, you know, a little out of the body, dissociated, and you really would like to help them to have a more grounding, ask them to press both solid of the feet, feet against the floor and using your hands, you know, on the thigh, special pressuring the, 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 the knees against, you know, the floor, okay? Pressing down, the person is going to have opportunity to sense their, their bones and the stability that the floor can give to them. Okay, this is a very good thing also. So after that, come back, return both to solid of the feet, like you see in the third draw, feeling the body connection to the breath, breathing with movement, inhale and exhale and sense what the sensations comes to you. This exercise is going to help you to increase the stability and the grounding. Let's see the next one. Continue with the same intention of bringing stability. Now, you ask the person to push simultaneously with the tools on the floor, while at the same time sensing the movements, sensations that happened in the back of your spine. Return, like the second, draw, return both solely of the feet, feeling the body connected with the breathing, with movements, and it notes what is happening when you inhale and exhale and give a pause. So notes again, your body more regulated. And now we're going to do the next. Ask the person to push simultaneously with both heels on the floor 
while at the same time sensing the movement sensations of the anterior part of your body. So what's going on in your belly, in your chest, sensations in the upper body, in the shoulder, what is happening in the anterior part as you press down the heels. Take a deep breath and notice what is happening. So allow the heels and the, the sole of the feet stay on the floor like the second picture. Yeah. And returning the sole of the feet, feeling the body connection with the breathing, with movement and breathing. Okay. Inhale and exhale, giving pausa. Okay, let's see all their somatic skills that is going to help discharge and release the excessive energy held in the body under these circumstances that we're talking about, you know, stress and trauma situation. So, upright position, breath three times, noticing the air coming, entering the nostrils inside your nose. Take deep three breath, three times or more if you need. Just note how it goes, how it travels to the body. Take a moment, breath three times, noticing the air entering to your chest. Ah, Note the air coming inside the chest three times. Give a pause. Breath three times now, noticing the air entering to the belly. Three times. If you need more, often, no problem. This is great. So now, breath, allowing the air to fill the entire body and release side, raising the arms, you know, on the inhale and on the exhale, release the arms with the trunks, letting the body bend towards the floor, releasing the shoulders, releasing the air and expressing a sound like ha, at least three times. Oh. Oh. <gasps> Observation about this exercise. This type of exercises bring some down, you know, download as you experience that. You know, sometimes we need to authorize ourselves once you are discharging some excessive energy that is holding inside. So sometimes you can feel shivering, sweating, you know, body heats, humbling stomach, deep spontaneous breath. Sometimes you want to cry, laugh. It's okay. 
okay? We are trying to understand what is happening in the body when you are overwhelmed and paralyzed uh, in the face of the threat without completing the fight response and without being able to get out of the situation or escape, okay? So this is so important for you to allow that this can come when you are discharging our overload, all right? So another thing that I really include in this exercise is, is about what the full sounds of Peter Levine does to us, okay? Peter brought this for us, and this could be something good as well in that process. Could be in another moment as well, but this can fit well as well. So uh, the sounds that comes from the viscera, the vibration that unfreezes the nervous system and restore vitality. Okay, normalize, you know, activation signs and symptoms. Wu sounds there's this kind of benefits to us. Recognize the activation signals and not be scared off by them. These signs tells us that our body is getting ready to face a challenging situation, all right? So this is a good tool, somatic, school, uh, somatic skills that can help you in many process to help the others that, is, that, that needs you. So you need to remember that we are helpers, you know, and you need to be protecting ourselves and support ourselves in order to help others, we need to find our regulation, our presence, our, you know, regulated state. Another exercise, let's do, we have so many, but now we select some few ones to you, okay? So boundary and protection at the same time. You see, as you see the picture, okay, push gentle with the palm, the right palm, in the right hand, like you see there, pressing the sole of the feet firmly against the surface, any surface, okay? In case you do this exercise in a stand position, press the soles of the, your feet against the floor. Always keeping your left hand, you know, on your chest, respecting the center the self, okay? If you do this exercise in seat position, press your right hand on your thigh or in the, the sofa seat, but always pressing the sole of your feet against the floor. Don't need to be too much, but sometimes you can press and see you know, uh, the modulation that helps you to really to access the support from the floor. Observation about this exercise. On the hand that gives the limit, okay, the boundaries, choose the right distance. I mean, the degree of extension of the arms since it is better for each one to perceive their boundaries or limit is that has to be respected. Okay? So let's see someone more. You use what is good for you and appropriate for the moment, but let's do orienting exercise. So you can move your head slowly with the eyes open, also with your inner ear. So uh, the vestibular system or auditory system with visual system is important then to work together and the movements that you have in our neck, okay? That is really helps. So you can move it to the right, always with the pressure in your feet a little bit. Take a deep breath. Maybe you can go a little more and slowly you can return. Take the center. In the center, you have a deep breath and you keep looking for another side. Okay. But the eyes has to follow the movement of the neck. Also, 
your inner ear sound that can help you to be connected with auditory and visual system. In the neutral position, inhale and exhale and stay present. We have more. Also, you can inhale and exhale and you can bend forward your head. So also you can do some a little pressure and help the gravity, yeah, to really to look down. Take the pressure on the back of your neck and slowly you can upright. So this is another movement. Okay. Take a little break. Pause. So now it's another movement that you can raise up the arms upwards in the city position and lean the entire trunk forward from the pelvis. Exhale, flexing the trunk until touching the chest on the tights. Some can reach the floor with their hands, some not, don't force. The head and neck sag under your weight. When lifting the trunk, start to the movement by pressing the feet against the floor and go up vertebrae by vertebrae. And the last thing that you be upright should be your neck and head. The, another exercise that you can help in the community with uh, women is that you need to protect their children. So you as practitioner is your task to help to create an environment as rel with relative safety because we know that threatening is everywhere. So and you need to help the mothers to have their protection system as well, you know, find more um, regulation and more capacity for them to be on their presence as well. So this is an exercise that you can see the pictures to help group of women, you know. So you first, you uh, raise the left hand face the sun, receive energy from the sun and place it on the heart with the left hand. So you raise up now the right hand and face the hand to the sun, receive energy and place the hand between the shoulder plates of its neighbor in the circle concentrating pro protection for the group of women. So as you see in the picture, you, you can have a small group, two or three or four or how many, so they can be together. You know, we need to pass through them that they are not alone. So the sense of others support us, give a loss, uh, give it to us, a lot of safety and uh, access our compassion, feelings, our feelings of to be present and that we are not alone. So now with so much threatening, so much images, so much sound, so much, too much information right now, so it's so incredible, so good if you could help our clients or all these people that need us to uncoupling the intrusive images from what they see, what they listen. So I think that we need to do this or in city position or in stand position, doesn't matter but you have it to press your feet against the floor as well, not too much, but enough for you to sense that gravity, to sense the presence, sense your verticality. And if, uh, if so with the feet on the floor, of course, in a seat position or standing position, place the back of your both hands 
covering the eyes. And uh, like you see in the picture, you move your hands away. Also moving away together the image that are being repeated and um, intrusing, come inside of your eyes. So when you do that, so you're going to help your client. For example, the therapist put a little pressure like you see, you know, pressure against, um, and uh, to push these intrusive images away. When you push them away, also you can express a word, a word that comes, you know, from the moment, what the person is really experiencing. For example, no, okay, that those intrusive uh, image or leave it away or when you open your arms like you open your arms so allow a very resourceful image to enter into your eyes and observe the sensations of that comforting image all over your body of course always breathing pause okay so maybe also person can use this as a discharge so you can you can exchange this exercise and combine with the discharge exercise that i said already that is a lot intrusive and uh, you know a lot excessive energy in the system to discharge the the, the sympathetic um, stock okay so now, same thing with the intrusive imagery from the ears. We listen so many things from radio, television, or newspaper, or people around saying things that really overwhelm, and everything that come into body, of course, disorganize the nervous system, you know, disorganize and dysregulate. We need to get back the regulation. So what we offer as somatic experiencing, also what we offer to the polyvagal theory from the Stephen Porges that is a supportive for us, you know, we need to find out that we need to help people to regulate themselves. So same thing with the feet flat on the floor, on the floor in a seat or in a standing position, place both hands over the ears, okay? As you move your hands away, the therapist is going to, to like you see the, the, in, the, in the, the drawing. So you're going to do the same thing, you know? As you, you know, see or listen things that is not okay, so you put away, okay? Like the same thing, no, or leave away, leave it away. And when you open your arms, allow that resourceful image of, uh, that comes to your ear, like a music, like a sound of ocean, enter softly inside your ears. And, of course, observe sensations and the comforting image all over your body. That's it. So this is from Peter Levine from his book, okay? So you be very um, comfortable in a chair, allow the weight of your trunk rest toward the pelvis and allow your legs, you know, be very resting and the weight of the feet rest toward to the floor. Take a deep breath. Take a pause. Start to listen the heart beat. Yeah. Take very calm breathing. Cycle in a very deep consciousness as much as possible. Observe your shoulders resting toward to the trunk. And take your time. Take your time. 
Now you get the right hand and the cross your trunk, the other side, and put under your left arm, the hand in the ribs. And just notice how is to sense protection in the left side of your body that is place it in the ribs. Take a deep breath and cross your trunk and embrace the right arm. This we call Peter's hug. <laughs> Our dear Peter Levine. So now I like to do like that, you know, inhale and exhale. And in general, I allow my neck and my head toward down, toward down a little bit. And look down. And pay attention to the breath. And Peter used to say that we stay in this position between two, maximum 10 minutes with this self-touching. It's very benefit because you are giving containment between the thoracic zone and visceral zone and allow the body calm down from each breathing cycle. It's easy to access more coherence and more regulation if it is exercise. And I enjoy now this moment to send you a big hug and strength and all the higher source bless you. Thank you very much for this opportunity.